Hi there, I'm Stephanie and I'm an artist who uses Winsor & Newton materials which I discovered when I was a student. I'm going to be looking at different materials, methods and approaches and the archival importance of using good quality materials in your work. In this video I'm going to talk to you about cadmium in your palette. We're going to look at the most recent innovation and research that has culminated in a new cadmium free range. Cadmium frees offer the same level of performance and brilliance as cadmiums, but without the lead. Cadmiums have got the broadest range of hues in terms of going from the yellows to the reds. I'm using the cadmium free lemon here, and you can see just how strong and vibrant a tint that creates. And I'm going to now also add some cadmium free yellow pale. And you can see that they've got really strong, intense, highly vibrant colour. Cadmiums have the broadest range of hues derived from any of the inorganic pigment groups. These hues range from a pale golden deep yellow, going from pale lemons through to cadmium yellow deep. So cadmium red and yellow were the truly opaque pigments creating the brightest, most vibrant reds and yellows and oranges. And although there have been many bright reds and yellows that have come throughout time, none have had the brilliance and the opacity. Cadmium compounds have been used as a source of colour since the discovery of cadmium in 1817 by the German chemist Friedrich Stromeyer. Cadmium is a moderately soft silvery white metal with melting point just over 700 degrees Celsius. It was Stromeyer who first recommended the use of bright yellow cadmium sulphide for use in artist colours. But what has happened now is that Winsor & Newton have created the same brilliance, opacity and intensity that the original cadmiums created, but without the cadmium. And what this means is that you have a much safer alternative to cadmiums, but with the same level of performance, brilliance and intensity that you would expect from your cadmiums. 